Yo, what's going on today? So today we're going to talk about liquid frisket. Basically, liquid tape or a way to mask off uh, sort of different areas of shapes that are odd just by using this liquid right here. And I'm going to use some Nova Color acrylic paints right here. I find that it's best used with watercolor, gouache, or any liquid acrylics. And I'm painting on top of a gessoed canvas right here. And I'm using a cheap brush because the liquid frisket does mess up the brush a little bit because it is some sort of uh, substance that sort of uh, solidifies and sort of is really gummy and rubbery. So right now, I'm just gonna open this up and actually just paint a shape on top of the shape I just painted with the red acrylics. And then on top of this clear area as well. And then what we're gonna do is throw some more color on top of that like this teal and you just got to wait for it to dry it dries in about uh, I'd say 20 minutes but I use a fan so it dried a little bit faster um, but just wait till it dries and then throw that paint on top of it and once the paint dries make sure you start to rub away at the liquid frisket so that it doesn't sort of uh, harden a little bit more and just is sort of ridiculously hard to remove. Right now, I did it right after it dried, uh, the paint dried, and it's really easy to move. All I'm doing is just rubbing it and trying to sort of, uh, sort of just roll this frisket onto itself so that I can just remove that entire layers. But it's really nice because with frisket, you're able to draw on sections that you really just want to mask off and remove rather than taping. So you can get some really odd and unique shapes with this uh, substance. And you can keep going too. So on top of this layer, I just added another layer of frisket just to show you that, hey, I can actually do another layer on top of this one and really just waiting for it to dry throwing on that frisket, waiting for that to dry, throwing on another color, and then again, just easily just rubbing the frisket layer off with my fingers. And one cool thing about the frisket is that because it's liquid and it's really easily sort of applied to the canvas, even just by flicking it with a brush, you're able to create some really cool organic and sort of just natural textures and patterns um, to sort of remove uh, after you sort of paint on top of it. So I'm just flicking it and just seeing what type of textures it comes up with. This one took a little bit longer to dry because it was like little globs of the actual frisket dropping. Um, but after about, I'd say 25 minutes, um, I was able to paint right on top of that and then later just remove and get some really, really cool textures and sort of just different patterns. So this is a technique where it's kind of like if you're trying to get droplets on a rose petal or a leaf or sweat on you know the face of a figure that you're painting this is a technique using liquid frisket that could work so all i'm doing is just removing this easily with the hand and that's really why i like it because it's easy to apply and it's easy to just remove and the last tip is make sure you wash your hands and fingers before you know doing this because you're going to be rubbing a lot depending on how much you use this and you know if you're working with charcoal and another project and you know you just want to make sure you sort of cross contaminate some of those materials on sort of like a clean canvas or a new canvas that you're just rubbing with your hands so hopefully you like the video definitely check out that liquid frisket get some at your local store it's about five to 12 bucks i'd say maybe 15 depends on the amount this is a 45 millimeter bottle by pbo pebio sorry if i pronounced that wrong but you know newton windsor makes them and liquitex makes them so you can get some in different brands so hopefully like i said you like the video try it out and i'll see you next time peace